We're going to take a look today on just how to hook up uh, an ozone generator to the oxygen source here. There's four things you're going to need. You're going to need an oxygen tank, uh, one of these two. You're going to need a regulator, one of these two. You're going to need the generator itself. And then you're going to need something to uh, collect the ozone in. So you'll need four different entities to uh, start the process. This is the medical oxygen tank. Uh, needs a prescription to get and it has pure oxygen in it. This is the 870 regulator. It has this turn screw on it and it's actually got two pins right here that we slide down over the top, tighten down. All right, nice and tight. Now we can turn the gas on and you'll see the indicator show that there's adequate gas in the tank. This is a pediatric regulator. Uh, both of them are and you can control then the speed of the flow by this dial going from 0 to 1 32nd, 1 16th, 1 8th, and 1 quarter. Those are liters per minute and it lets the gas flow then, the oxygen, in this tube. If you're going to use this kind of a tank, and it's an industrial oxygen tank, it has 100% oxygen in it, and uh, these are uh, pure oxygen, you need what is considered the 540 regulator. It has a big nut on the end of it. Uh, that nut attaches to the end of the tank. And we'll get that started and spun on. And of course, on this type, you, you need to have a wrench, and you need to tighten that down well. All right. Now you can see here that this regulator, I'm going to turn the gas on and the regulator is going to turn up and you can see that. And if I want to control the speed of the gas, I will turn this. It goes to 1 32nd, 1 16th, 1 8th, 1 quarter, and the gas is coming out. Uh, this is the ozone generator. Um, it's nice and compact. And we plug it in. It can either be 110 or 220. You can see the light go on, indicating that it's ready. And uh, actually, you want to turn that on and let it run for about 30 seconds before you put any oxygen through it. It does warm up the unit, and it's got a fan for cooling in it, which keeps the components cool, but then it'll be ready after about 30 seconds. I can take my tubing, which is a silicon tubing, and attach it to the inlet side there. That says oxygen in. Now, according to the uh, concentration of ozone that you want, if I want 33 gamma, which is on the top of the unit here, I'm going to turn this to one quarter. So 1 32nd, 1 16th, 1 8th, 1 quarter. That's the speed of the gas, the oxygen flowing down through. And now we're producing some ozone. So as soon as I turn the gas on, I can let it go for a couple of seconds there. I'll probably smell a little ozone. And I'm going to hook up a syringe here. And I'm going to get 60 cc's of ozone. When I'm done with the 60, I will immediately turn off the device. And since ozone is heavier than air, I can just turn this in this position and the ozone is going to stay within the cylinder because it's heavier than air. Then I'll turn my gas off. Okay. We'll turn the gas off in two ways. One is to turn the tank off and then to turn the regulator off.